One of the oldest human occupation sites known in North America has just been recently discovered in a rock shelter in Oregon. And it's 5,000 years older than what they said was possible. Rimrock Draw sits in the high desert of central Oregon. Archaeologists have uncovered something that wasn't supposed to exist. A fragment of camelops tooth. This is a North American camel that went extinct at the end of the Ice Age and it is lying beneath a layer of volcanic ash. The ash comes from Mount St. Helens Set S eruption, a clock layer dated to about 15,000 years ago. The enamel on this tooth is radiocarbon dated to about 18,000 years ago. And then the story gets stranger. Stone tools were found beneath the camel remains. And this means that the tools are even older than the tooth, and so are the people that use them. Here there are scrapers, flakes, and hammer stones, all evidence of tool making. This took place during the last glacial maximum, when ice sheets were at their peak, at a time when humans weren't supposed to be here at all. For most of the last century, Archaeology followed a strict timeline. Human beings entered the Americas about 13,000 years ago, period. They came across an ice-free land bridge from Siberia, period. But this model only works if two things are true. One, that the corridor was open, and two, that the corridor was habitable. But neither of these things are true. The climate data now shows the corridor couldn't have been open until around 11,500 years ago. And when it was open, it was an ecological dead zone. No plants, no animals, nothing to support a long, brutal migration. So if humans were in America over 18,000 years ago, they didn't come across the land bridge. The Oregon discovery isn't the first. It's the latest in a growing pattern of dates the old model can't explain. Here, artifacts have dated 16 to 19,000 years ago, excavated under some of the strictest contamination controls that have ever been used. It was dismissed for decades as quackery because the dates were too early. In Cooper's Ferry, Idaho, here we find dates that are about 16,000 years old. Here, the tool styles link back to Northeast Asia, perfectly aligned with a coastal migration moving inland. This site was sidelined as speculative and unfunded because it was impossible. And in White Sands, New Mexico, this is the site that is the straw that broke the camelops tooth. Here, human footprints date between 21 to 23,000 years ago, and these are confirmed by multiple independent methods. The fact is undeniable. And these are different states, different materials, and different scientists, but they all point to the same direction. We can be certain that humans were here earlier than believed. But we can't be certain what direction they came from, but we now have a better idea. The ice-free corridor theory may have failed, but the coastline didn't. During the last glacial maximum, the Pacific shoreline supported kelp forests, abundant fish and shellfish, seals, birds, predictable travel routes. And why didn't we know this? because that ancient coastline is 400 feet underwater. Even during peak glaciation, seasonal melt created temporary coastal refuges. These small pockets of land where people could hunt, gather, and move further south. And from those pockets, groups spread inland, leaving sites like Rimrock Draw far from the vanished coastline that originally anchored those movements. 
There is also genetic evidence that shows a connection to the people of Beringia. Their timeline coincides with the 20,000-year timeline. The fact is that humans arrived earlier than we were allowed to believe, and they were here long before the official timeline began. The old story no longer holds water, and the new data is changing the story, and we are finally catching up to it.